if you got a girl like that, she definitely got to get it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get her anything that she asked for. She shouldn't want for nothing. If she um, met through the test of time and shit like that, she definitely got to reward her with, like, any, like, anything she really asked for type shit. That was one of the first beats that Berkey had sent me when we first locked in type shit. Since I first started like really doing songs on the melodic side, I always gravitated towards like guitar beats. If I listen to another rapper and I like the beat that he's using, I listen to the tag that's in the beginning of the song and I'll be going on Instagram stealing that shit. Like who made this beat? Like I'm gonna look that nigga up. So that's really what I did with that one. I noticed that he, he used a lot of guitar in his beats. So I just asked them like, yeah, send me, send me some of them shit that you be sending so and so. So, yeah, that's really how that worked out. Uh, uh, get a Saint Laurent sneakers or Dior shoes. I buy you anything you want because I adore you. I was walking down Rodeo Drive and I was listening to the beat and I was just thinking about like, like different things like you could buy a girl like. So that's why the first line is like get her Saint Laurent sneakers or Dior shoes. Like that was one of the two stores I seen at first. Really for me, it just depend on how much I like that person for real. Like, I don't know, I really don't be spending money on females that I don't really fuck with like that. Like I know a lot of people that, I know a lot of dudes that really spend money on like any, like anybody that they fuck with, but nah, that ain't me. I got like a chill, like laid back kind of personality. Like I don't really like doing too much. So I'll probably like, instead of really buying somebody something or, or going somewhere like on dates with them, I really like just chilling, like spending time. Let's fuck on the balcony. I'm trying to get you some more views. You ain't tripping about them bitches that's before you. Tell me your goals and I support you. Something we could work to. Just show me you loyal, I reward you. If you really locked in with somebody, like that's important to not just like, like it's more to a relationship than just just having sex or just taking pictures or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta definitely have goals that y'all working towards together and, and loyalty is definitely a big part of a relationship with somebody. She feeling alone, well, baby, I'm been through that war too. Everybody know that feeling of like being alone. I say I've been through that war too because before I really started taking off like that, I wouldn't say nobody, but everybody that's around me that try to surround themselves with me now wasn't really trying to, you know how that go. Like everybody wa wasn't with me. Everybody wasn't supporting me and nothing like that. So I definitely know how it feels to be alone. She's scared of love and I'm afraid of that word too. That's like an awkward stage of a relationship. Like before you tell somebody you love them and if you don't know if they feeling like the same way you don't know when to tell, when to tell that person you love them or you waiting for them to tell them tell you that they love you first and shit like that. So that should be scary to a person sometimes. She been asking blunts on her dresser. Tell me about her first heartbreak, might say monster, forget him. A lot of people be stuck on their ex sometimes and girls on the internet bashing their ex all the time, talking about what they have been through. I ain't really been heartbroken or it take me like a long time to just get over being heartbroken, but I know it take, I know I've been stuck on certain people for a long time and it took me a long time to get over them like like years at a time type shit she told me our love was forever but lately i've been feeling nonchalant sure and only judge made me better huh? in this generation like it's really no such thing as love lasting forever because after like the mi first minor inconvenience somebody can be ready to throw all that shit away so it's like nothing could really last forever in this generation especially with like social media and Shit like that, just causing problems and problems. Lately, I've been feeling like Sean only judged maybe better because I know, like that's another thing that I knew was relatable too. Because a lot of people try to fight their pain with drugs, like they use drugs to fight anxiety and different feelings like that. So I just knew that would be relatable. She just want a thug, no better life. Realest love ever, write a four page letters like while clutching Berettas. I know I ain't got no time on my schedule, but if I feel like she ain't mine, I'ma let her go. Sometimes I be feeling even guilty, like worrying about stuff like that. Like having a love life or relationship wise, like I really even be feeling guilty. Like I should be spending more time 
Like I'm sitting here worried about this. I should be spending more time worried about my career or something like that. Bad bitches only putting dimes on my pedestal. Savage, I give her the nine, she might let it blow. This hardest song you won't find with a stethoscope. Sometimes I wish I could rewind just to let you know. She don't want a man cause they toxic. She said that I'm not shit and when she with her friends on the topic. They tell me that that's the most relatable, like, like that's what they listen to the song for because they uh could relate to that part, especially females be saying like, because you know when they get around their friends, they just that's what they talk about, like the niggas that they dealing with at that time. So they love just talking about talking to their friends about you and shit like that. I'm just trying to spoil over bands while we shopping. Go not this road, hold my hands while we crossing. When you getting into a relationship, that's really like a long road that y'all going down, like a lot of bumps in the road and shit like that. So I was just saying, come not gonna come take my hand and walk with me through that shit. Yeah, it's definitely um, a different experience being in a, like a different scenery. And I know that that definitely affects like my music and the way I write, cause it gives me like a different vibe and stuff to write about other than like, especially with this song, I knew I wouldn't even wrote something like this being in Syracuse or being back home.